Hello. My name is Pat, and I am here to tell you about denaturation of a protein. Proteins are amino acid polymers. A protein is created by ribosomes that read RNA that is encoded by codons in the gene and assemble a requisite amino acid combination from the genetic construction, in a process known as translation. The newly created protein strand then undergoes post-translational modification, in which additional atoms or molecules are added, for example copper, zinc, or iron. Once this post-translational modification process has been completed, the protein begins to fold, sometimes spontaneously and sometimes with enzymatic assistance, curling up on itself so that hydrophobic elements of the protein are buried deep inside the structure and hydrophilic elements end up on the outside. The final shape of a protein determines how it interacts with its environment. When a protein is denatured, the secondary and tertiary structures are altered but the peptide bonds of the primary structure between the amino acids are left intact. Since all structural levels of the protein determines its function, the protein can no longer perform its function once it has been denatured. This is in contrast to intrinsically unstructured proteins, which are unfolded in their native state but still functionally active. Denaturation is a process in which proteins or nucleic acids lose the tertiary structure and secondary structure which is present in their native state. This can happen by application of some external stress or compounds such as a strong acid or base, a concentrated inorganic salt, an organic solvent, for example, alcohol or chloroform, or heat. If proteins in a living cell are denatured, this results in disruption of cell activity and possibly cell death. Denatured proteins can exhibit a wide range of characteristics, from loss of solubility to communal aggregation. This concept is unrelated to denatured alcohol which is alcohol that has been mixed with additives to make it unsuitable for human consumption. When food is cooked, some of its proteins become denatured. This is why boiled eggs become hard and cooked meat becomes firm. A classic example of denaturing in proteins comes from egg whites, which are largely egg albumins in water. Fresh from the eggs, Egg whites are transparent and liquid. Cooking the thermally unstable whites turns them opaque, forming an interconnected solid mass. The same transformation can be effected with a denaturing chemical. Pouring egg whites into a beaker of acetone will also turn egg whites translucent and solid. The skin that forms on curdled milk is another common example of denatured protein. The cold appetizer known as kevik is prepared by chemically cooking raw fish and shellfish in an acidic citrus marinade, without heat although denaturing egg whites is irreversible, in many other cases denaturing is reversible, 